Now if you received your Summit printer in a crate, we will show you how to uncrate it and how to keep the crate intact in this section. These are the tools you will need to uncrate your machine. First we have the hammer and then you'll need the crowbar. The first step is to remove the steel bands. Some crate come with them and some won't. To remove the band you will insert the band to the back end of the hammer and pry outward to remove. Next step is to insert the crowbar in between the lid and the crate. And then we're going to pry evenly around the crates. Next, we're going to remove the supports that are built into the crate. To do that, you will have to remove one side of the wall, slightly bang on it with the hammer, create a little room with the crowbar, and then you can wedge it into the support as well. The board will slowly come out, and then that, you can pry it off from the other side. After removing the supports, we will lightly hammer the wall back into place to keep the crate intact. Now we can remove these top supports by prying them off with the back end of the hammer. And now we will remove the nails so when we are lifting the machine out of the crate, it will not damage the machine. I'm going to go ahead and do that all around the crate. Now that we have removed the nails, go ahead and poke a hole with your arm through the saran wrap so that we can get a hold of the base. You never want to lift the machine by the arms, you always want to lift it by the base. You'll want two people to lift the machine out of the crate. Make sure that you are both grabbing it by the base. And gently set it to another tabletop or surface. Located on the back of the machine, you will find the power outlet. Using the three-prong grounded plug, gently place the female connector into the back. Make sure that the red power button is off indicated by the circle. Once the machine is plugged in, switch it to the line which turns the machine on. After plugging in the machine, locate the emergency stop button on the front panel. Twist and pull the button clockwise to make sure the switch is disengaged. If the button does not come out, the switch is already disengaged.